بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم we're going to uh, to describe the different types of information systems the first of them is the uh, transaction processing systems which uh, convert detailed data into detailed information information which will uh, serve the needs of uh, operational managers and staff and it uh, record daily routine transactions necessary to conduct uh, a business and it helps to, uh, to make decisions and uh, serve predefined structured goals and very important as we said for the lower level managers operations managers an example of the transaction processing system is the uh, payroll uh, system the payroll system uh, process uh, data on uh, payments to, uh, to employees and it, uh, it, uh, it also help in addition to, uh, to company managers it uh, facilitate the work of the regulatory agencies and other entities relying on the accuracy of the reported data this slide explains the relationship between a software program called business intelligence and the uh, decision support system and the executive support systems used by middle and senior management the business intelligence is a type of software used in analyzing data the management information system is a specific type of an information uh, systems uh, it serves middle man man managers and uh, provide reports on the firm's current performance based on data from the transaction processing system and it provides <coughs> answers to routine questions with the predefined procedures for answering them and typically uh, have little analytic capability this slide shows the uh, relationship between the uh, transaction processing systems and management information systems here we have uh, three types of transaction processing systems order processing system materials resource planning system general ledger system and the MIS uh, uses the data and the information supplied by this uh, TPS in order to uh, form and make reports for uh, managers in order to make their decisions and here we have a simplified uh, management information system report which uh, shows how it uh, summarized annual sales data uh, and have it uh, pre in a presentable way to, uh, to managers in order to make uh, decisions based on the reported information the decision support systems serve middle management and support non-routine decision making for example uh, something like what is the impact on the production schedule if uh, December sales uh, were doubled and it may use external information as well as transaction processing systems MIS data uh, model driven the uh, decision support systems uh, show the uh, voyage estimating systems and data driven for decision support systems like the intra-west marketing analysis systems these are like uh, like uh, companies used to uh, to show how the information systems the decision support systems uh, may serve in, in analyzing business and and let me ask you 
whether or not you understand what is meant by non-routine decision making as opposed to routine, routine decision making and why decision support systems are specifically designed to assist managers in making that type of decision can you think of examples of non-routine decisions you make or have made in the past as a manager as a manager or as an employee and and remember that uh, routine decisions are structured decisions decisions which are stored to be made in specific situations for specific cases However, non-routine decisions are not structured and, and they are decisions which should be designed to uh, suit changing situations, novel situations. We find that non-routine decisions are made uh, with uh, non-specific uh, situations with the unstructured situations they are non-programmed as opposed to the routine decisions which are considered as programmed decisions now we go back to the uh, voyage estimating decision support system uh, if you notice the uh, this system uh, gathers information from uh, many, many, many parts of the voyage system, like uh, the ship fire uh, concerning the speed and capacity, uh, so forth, regarding the, each ship that is, the company has, and the port uh, distance, restrictions file, the fuel consumption cost, uh, chip, uh, charter, higher history cost file, and port expense and these data are analyzed and uh, presented to, uh, to managers in order to make a uh, uh, decision regarding regarding so many things like like for for example uh, which which vessel to, uh, to use uh, for a particular destination to uh, to maximize profit and, and the optimal loading pattern for cargo and, and stuff like that so uh, that system help managers to uh, to make decisions and support making decisions the executive support systems executive support systems uh, support senior management decisions especially when they uh, make non-routine decisions which require judgment evaluation inside it incorporates data about external events like, like for instance uh, new tax laws or uh, competitors as well as summarized information from internal MIS and the decision support systems uh, it emphasizes the connection between executive support systems MIS and decision support systems executive support systems rely on accurate inputs from firms MIS and DSS to provide useful information to executives it help to support decisions non-routine decisions made by executive managers enterprise applications such as the enterprise uh, systems supply chain management systems customer relationship management systems and knowledge management systems they uh, help to link the whole enterprise together and span functional areas and execute business processes across the firm the uh, applications are used to manage the information used in the systems discussed previously we just discussed them a minute ago 
In other words, the enterprise application are used to ensure that the transaction processing system, the MIS, the decision support systems, and the executive support systems work together smoothly. The enterprise application architecture. <clears throat> As the figure uh, show us or explain to us, the enterprise systems uh, cover all different parts of the uh, organization uh, inside and also the factors which uh, impact the work of the internal processes inside the organization. Uh, it automates the uh, processes that span multiple business functions and organizational levels and also as we just said, extend outside the organization. The enterprise systems collect data from different firm functions and store data in single central data repository. It resolves problem of fragmented data and it integrates information flow from a variety of sources and serve a wide variety of groups and purposes in the firm. The supply chain management systems uh, manages the uh, firm's relationships with uh, suppliers, with all the uh, partners of the uh, supply chain. So it uh, facilitates the sharing of information about uh, orders, production, inventory levels, and so on. With a goal aiming at making sure that the right amount of products are uh, delivered to a uh, destination with the least amount of time and the lowest cost. And it is like uh, an inter-organizational systems automating the flow of information across organizational boundaries. This distinction is important because supply chain management systems must be designed with the business processes of potential partners and suppliers are in mind. Because the, uh, the whole idea behind the supply chain management is that all partners of the supply chain must contribute to collectively creating value for the uh, final beneficiary, uh, which is the uh, customer. The customer relationship management systems, which are related to the supply chain management systems. The uh, CRM systems provide information to coordinate all of the business processes that deal with customers like, like sales, like marketing, like uh, customer service. And uh, it helps firms to identify, attract, and retain most profitable customers. Knowledge management systems. Uh, these kind of systems uh, help support processes for capturing and applying knowledge and expertise. These systems support how to create, produce, deliver products and services. They are also useful in collecting internal knowledge and experience within the firm and make it available to employees. And it helps also to link to external sources of knowledge. These kind of systems are, are so very useful in, in helping firms, employees to understand how to perform certain business processes and, and also how to solve problems. So uh, it's so very useful for, for people inside organizations. Information systems also used to increase the integration and the easy flow of uh, information through intranets and extranets. 
Internets are the internal company websites accessible only by employees who work for the company. And, and internets are used inside companies. And employees cannot access them from home. Uh, in order to access them from home, they use extra nets. And uh, the extra nets are like the uh, company websites, accessible externally only to vendors and suppliers based on the need for information. So uh, only those the company allow them to access internal information have, have uh, the license to uh, access intranets and often it is used to coordinate supply chain members or partners. Information systems also uh, help with uh, the e-business, e-commerce, and the e-government. In e-business, it uh, uses the digital technology and the internet to deliver major business processes. Most of the uh, business functions are, are practiced using the e-business. E-commerce is a subset of e-business. It facilitates the buying and selling of goods and services through the internet. While e-government uh, is, is using the internet technology to deliver information and services to citizens, employees, and businesses. Information systems may also be used for uh, collaboration and teamwork. For collaboration and teamwork, they may be short-term or long-term, based on the need for uh, the collaboration. And they may be informal or formal, based on the needs of the teams. And there is a growing importance for collaboration because of the changing nature of work, the growth of professional work, and the changing organization of the firm serves the change process and changing scope of the firm and it has an emphasis on innovation and it can help with changing the culture of work.